。有官方数字认证，中国大陆国家主席打包票，强调中国经济风景独好，但长期观察全球正经走势的《金融时报》首席评论员沃夫认为，高度的经济成长融景早就已经成为过去式。Growing at 10% a year,、uh, or anything close to it,、uh, for more than 40 years would be absolutely extraordinary. It was bound to to slow many of the exceptional opportunities they had to catch up technologically. The the enormous mass urbanisation of the Chinese people not finished, but it's much of it is done.、Uh, the colossal investment boom that went with building capital of all kinds for the First time, that's all over. 在沃夫眼里，中国大陆都市成长几乎已经完备，能再升级的空间有限，因此也降低推进经济成长的动能。但研判龙年，中国大陆还是有望保四，对未来二十年的发展也是乐观看待。Is the Chinese state prepared to do to promote a greater efficiency, greater dynamism in their economy? If they could do that. Then I think they could still grow at four, maybe even more than four percent a year for the next twenty years, and that would still be double America's rate. So it would still be catching up. Just never again. It'll never again be, be the sort of economy it was up till now. 不过，沃夫强调，政策仍然是左右中国大陆未来经济走向最重要的原因。It seems that she doesn't look like somebody for whom growth. Is an overwhelming priority. Certainly, if it reduces in any way or threatens in any way state control over the economy, but I think it's also true that the changes they would have to make at this stage, because the past models, the export-led growth model and high investment-led model, are over, they have to change a lot. 专家认为，北京在疫情后并没有祭出大规模的经济刺激政策，可见端倪。现在又面临房产泡沫化以及股市崩盘，恐怕会影响后续经济情势的走向。And he might also think, look, we've been, as you put it, goosing the economy at least since the financial crisis, and all we've got is these enormous headaches, huge amount of debt. The debt ratio in China is. Tripled roughly since then. We can't go on doing that. It's unsustainable, and we've produced all these ridiculous, useless property which nobody wanted. So I don't like that either. So I think he seems to have moral objections, and he he dislikes the waste. I think so. It, but he doesn't mean that he's got an alternative. 而且中国大陆还面临地方政府债台高筑的沉重负担，在全球都还在为通膨担忧的实际点上，包括今年一月在内。中国大陆居民消费价格区间指数已经连续四个月都落在通缩的区间，因此外界也忧心中国大陆恐怕会像日本一样陷入失落的十年。So the question is, can they raise productivity? And the key point there is they got the potential because they're still so poor. That's why they're not Japan. But to exploit the potential, they have to do quite a lot of big stuff that will shift the economy in a more dynamic. A、direction again. 尽管认为中国大陆不会步入日本的后尘，但包括和劳动力不足以及社会高龄化等问题紧接而来。中国大陆的经济成长数字很难像以往这么亮眼，不过仍旧能维持百分之三到百分之四的成长。但这样的成长幅度是否还能带动全球经济向前冲，将成为未来最受关注的焦点。体育新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。